Welcome back to what has been an incredibly feel-good Friday morning <laughs> here on Expresso. You are live. Welcome to it. But of course, there was a buzz this weekend. Why? Because Cup Action returns to the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium for the first time since 2009 wow. for the Ned Bank Cup Final. It is Ajax Cape Town up against Mamalodi Sundown. You're not, you're not, boy. You've got to say it, man. Mm. And the heat is on. The man who's certainly, I think, feeling the heat right now. Maybe not in terms of pressure. <laughs> uh, certainly, Mr. Noah Sadari. Thank you very much for joining us once again, Thank dude. You for People are loving you on social media. I don't, yeah, know. I don't know what's going on. What did you do? Did you spray something on? Okay, did you spray something on? But let's talk uh, real talk about the football this weekend. Um, I, I want to ask this. When, when you guys are playing you know, normal season uh, games versus uh, being in a cup situation like this, does the team mentality and especially your mentality with the approach to the game, does it change? Um, not really. I mean, um, we were talking about today as well and we were just saying that you should handle the game as a normal game. Yeah. Uh, carry on the way we were doing things because I mean especially towards the end of the season mm -hmm. um, the team did very well yeah. and we were going on the streak and um, yeah definitely it shouldn't be like just every single game yeah. it shouldn't be higher or lower pressure or anything mm -hmm. it's just enjoy yourself and how much influence does Roger have in that? If we put it in perspective, I mean, this is his first season at Ajax as well. Yeah. We know that he loves the younger players, developing those younger players, and being a former player himself, um, I think relates to you guys. Uh, how much influence does he have on your mindset? How do you kind of, what's that relationship like? Yeah, I mean, uh, Roger's obviously uh, played before, mm -hmm. and um, uh, he relates a lot to players. Like, he understands players because he was a player himself. And the way he handles things is unlike other coaches. And everyone likes him, and obviously, uh, they want to listen to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a big influence on the team. And when he tells you to do something, you, you want to do it for him, you know yeah. what I mean? Because he also is fair with players. When You know, some coaches don't respect players in a certain way because they just, I don't know, they're, they're very, very it's like they're yeah. very strict. Yeah. And they but he allow knows. You to be he knows. He knows when to be serious, yeah. and knows when to make the team feel comfortable. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's like makes it feel like his family. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But I'm sure right now it's about knuckling down to obviously the last preparations for this coming weekend's game. So when you went into the strategy of this coming weekend's game, who are you looking at in terms of the opposition? Who are the players that you're watching out for? What is the strategy going into the game? I mean, um, when we talked about it um, in a meeting. It was no one specific. Mm -hmm. It was just what we're gonna do as a team, and uh, just to go and play our game and attack them, uh, and not to play defense like defensively or yeah. anything. No specific players because we believe in our players. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad team. you said that not defensively because I think that's where Ajax is shining now. When you, you mentioned that streak, you guys have brought the Cape Town fans back into the stadiums. I live close to the stadium. I get to hear yeah. um, that that groundswell of support. What is Ajax's style of play? What are you guys going to be taking into that final? I mean, uh, we're not a team that just kicks and runs and stuff like that. Or, but we like to build from the back. Um, they kind of take the game uh, like Ajax Amsterdam. It's kind of that tactic. Mm -hmm. So we build from the back and pass, 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 and build things and wait for things to happen. And if there's something, there's something up top, then you do your own thing. Yeah. And what are, you, what are your expectations of the game? What are you looking at uh, for a final scoreline that you think you could possibly pull off? All I can say, we're going to win. <laughs> no, come on, no, no, no. no. On the, I can see that was the one answer you did rehearse, man. <laughs> if I had to say, I would say 2-1. 2-1, all right. Okay, I like I'll that. Take now, that. I'm going to ask you to turn your, your head another 45 <laughs> degrees and take a little look at this. We've got uh, Graham and Katejo. Who is that yummy, gorgeous interviewee? Wouldn't mind waking up to that every day. Oh, so wow. handsome. Morning and happy <laughs> Friday, family. I think, I think you just blushed there, man. On <laughs> national TV, you're blushing, right? Are you, are you spoken for? Is there someone in your life? I mean, that's a handsome guy. Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a pro baller, man. No, no, thank you so much. No, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know it's a big weekend. I'm, I'm sure the whole team is feeling mm. the pressure as much as you don't want to, but all the best of luck to you and to all of the Sundowns fans out there. We're looking forward to an awesome showpiece event at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. Thanks, man. Thank Fantastic you so much for having yeah, me. I appreciate final. it. Yeah, awesome, it's happening man. this weekend. You're like, you're not the Nick Bank Cup final, man. Let's get you and weighing in on this. Who do you think is going to take it, boy?